In this video, I want to cover how best to mount material to shoot in fluid. In this one, I have chosen a small beetle larvae. It's about 20 millimeters across. And again, based on my chart, I can run this either the 65 millimeter or the or the 100. I'd rather do the 100. Um, it's just because I'm going to gain more depth of field and I can shoot F8 easy on this. So I picked the 100 millimeter lens and I'm going to, now I'm going to put this in a Petri dish. I also want to shoot it on a black background. In order to mount it, I need to put it on some surface and adhere it so that it doesn't go bobbing around in the ethanol. Over two decades, we have found out one of the best ways to do this is with personal lubricant jelly. You can buy this at any pharmacy. It's optically pure, it's clear. Um, it is water soluble, but ethanol does not bother it. So you can take a, a little scoop of this and you can put it on a Petri dish like this, like I put this little spot here if you let it dry uh, for a few minutes in room temperature air, it will get stickier. And what's nice about that is that it becomes more of an adhesive. But again, you can get it off with pure water. So when you're all done with your specimen, when you want to clean it, you just put fill it up with sterile water, move it around, and it dissolves. But again, ethanol won't break it down. So I prepared a Petri dish here with a little dollop of this about five minutes ago. And now I'm going to put my beetle larvae in there and, and get it to stay where I want it. So what I would normally do is I would put my beetle larvae on my little bit of jelly here and position it. And then I would do this under a stereoscope so that I can get it exactly where I want it. But now I've got it lined up to where it's pretty well where I need it. Let me get my gear out of here. The next thing to do, before we add the ethanol onto the actual specimen, we need to bond the Petri dish to the background. Now this background is just a piece of black acrylic. I've given you some of these. It has little felt feet on it so it doesn't scratch up this acrylic. But what it does, it will give us a black background, but if we don't put some liquid between it and the Petri dish, you'll just see a reflection of the Petri dish in your image, and it's not going to work. So what you have to do, if you're shooting with ethanol, you want to use ethanol to bind the two together. If you're shooting with water, you want to use water to bind the two together, because the refractive index, indices of the liquid will be the same. That's what's important. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of ethanol here on my on the black tray and I'm, I'm laying my petri dish down sort of like on an angle so I can keep the air bubble away from my actual specimen <coughs> that part I cut out. I'm going to add a little tiny bit more ethanol And there we have it. Now, I'll give you an idea on my view. What we have. Now, please note this on the live view. If I have the black part of my, uh, my stand in the center of my field of view, the gain on the camera turns way up and my specimen is like blinding. But if I put my light specimen in the middle of my field of view, the auto gain drops down and my specimen is, is normal. Now, I don't know if you can see on the screen the uh, reflective highlights that we're getting from these modeling lamps. As soon as I put ethanol over the top of this, Those have gone. 
they've disappeared. So those highlights are all are all gone now. I can now bring up my passport software and I can focus up or down on it. If I click on a point, now you can see the actual detail right to the CD of this little creature. And it's on a pure, absolute jet black background. Now, if I were to take a picture of that, which I suppose I could do, let me focus on one of these black spots in the CD. I'm going to turn off my modeling lamps. Now, again, this is without a diffuser because the actual ethanol is doing the diffusing for us. I'm going to turn off live view. <clears throat> I'm going to check my f-stop. I'm at f5.6. I'm shooting at 5. I'm going to take a test shot. I'm in manual mode. I'm just going to see what I have. I may want to bring it up or down. Well, I'm going to bring it down. Look how bright that is. So I'm going to take this down to uh, 4. I'm sorry, was it 5.3? I'll take it down to 4.5 and I'll take a shot. There we go. So now I've got my, my specimen. Look at the detail on that. It's a bit hot in the middle, so I'll bring it down again some more. There we go. But that's it. I mean, the background, you can't see any, any uh, artifacts in it. There's no, no way to know whether it's right behind it or, or 10 meters away. It will hold it in position level. I can do a stack. You can do this with anything that you could stick in a Petri dish. And that's it for mounting stuff on, uh, on a Petri and ethanol. Now here, I've gone ahead and Taken the taken it off the black ground, put it the black background, and I put it right on the clear acrylic top, and I will slide my gray background underneath it, and then we will take it over to the monitor and I'll show you what that looks like, and we'll take some shots with that as well and compare it to the black. Okay, so that was our shot with our uh, beetle larvae on a black background in ethanol and you can see the detail on the cd it's pretty good one of the problems is that the head of this thing is black and so it disappears on this black background and in order to get any of this to really show up we'd have to really expose this to the point to where it's just beyond the pale so what i'm going to do is take a shot on it with it with a gray background and see what that looks like so here is our live view there's our gray background um I'm going to position it a little bit better on the stage there. You can see this thing is kind of floating around. In the, there's a little, little bit of something floating in the ethanol. I should probably clean that. And I'm going to move my lights around to see how I'm going to light this. Let me see if I can get the light off of this and onto the head. So based on that, I'm going to turn this modeling light off. And I'm going to turn the other modeling light on. And that's the head. Okay, so if I come down and bring this at an angle, sort of like that, it lights up the head a little bit. And now I've got this really nice little ridge detail I didn't have before. And then if I put on this side light, it fills in a little bit and gives me a little highlight off of that one side. I kind of like that. So if that's the way I want to see it, I'm just going to double click on it and see where I'm focused. I'm focused right around the edge there. I'm going to take a test shot. I haven't changed my lighting. It's going to be bright, really bright, because I've got this light background. So I'm going to take a shot and expect to have to turn the lighting down. So first thing I'll do is I'll turn off my modeling lamps. And I will turn off live view and I'll take a shot. Yeah, just a bit bright. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn this down. 
I'm going to bring it to three and a half just to see what it does. I can even go a little bit lower than that. So now I've taken it down to three and let's see what we got. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so now I've got all the detail in here. I've got some spectral highlights that just show me a little bit of topography, which is what, what I like. I love the idea that I can see highlights across the tops of these peaks here and shadows in the ridges. I've got enough on the head. Now I can, I can change my lighting. I can turn this light down, which is the, my four light. I can turn it down to, oh, I don't know, 2.5 out of three. And I can turn this light up by walking over to the light and turning the knob on the back to 3.5. So now I have a full stop difference between these two lights. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, look at the difference. So what we've done, I, by turning this light down and turning that light up, see we've, we've gotten rid of this highlight that was over here. And we've brightened this up along the, along the ventral axis. There or there. I like this one better. It actually shows more detail. So this is the one I want to keep. So at this point, if I wanted to make a stack, I would make a stack. <clears throat> Again, this is just an exercise in how to mount and shoot the stuff in ethanol. Now, see these little bits of stuff in here? The, and I've got some bubbles here. The more time you take preparing this, and the better job you do, the cleaner you make it, the better it looks. This is sort of down and dirty, but it gets to the point. Um, a little tiny bit of this jelly will last you a long way. Again, you don't want to bury the specimen in it. You just want to basically use it as a cement to bond it to the Petri dish so that it doesn't float around. That's it.